Hey everybody, Dave Williamson. Just coming out of the Starbucks where I met with a local fella who had a beautiful collection. Nice cars, really. And uh, it is so it's so much fun to meet with somebody locally and look at cars. And I don't always buy them, but it's fun to look at them and talk about them. Now I'm driving home. And the weather, let's see. It's getting kind of gray again. Maybe we'll get some more snow today. Anyway, it was really fun. It's always nice to hear how, how other people's childhoods were and what kind of toys they had and what their friends had and how long they had the cars. You know, it's been like 50 years, right? So, uh, 68, there was, you know, again, there's not many 68s in collections. About mostly what you can hope for is some decent 70s, 71s. So this collection, You'll see, just now. I'm gonna open it up. They're not wrapped up, so I have to figure out some other way to make it exciting. Maybe, hmm, I wonder what I'll do. I think I'll uncover them one at a time. I'll go least to best and just uncover them one at a time. I'm gonna have to get a system going for cars that aren't wrapped up. So, let me get home and I'll make this video for you to enjoy and uh, thanks. See ya. Hey everybody, it is time to open another 48 car case of Hot Wheels. This particular case, does it have 48 in it? No, not quite. I think it has 36 cars in it. But check this out. On the outside of the case is a Snoopy sticker. And on the top of the case is a Snoopy sticker. And on the other side of the case is a, oh, that's not Snoopy. That is, what's that little bird's name? I can't remember. So cute. I think he's carrying a football, isn't he? Nothing on the other side, nothing on this side. So let's set it aside and start opening the cars and see what's inside. I think there's some good stuff in here. One of the neat things the uh, fellow brought me when we met the other day is this sticker sheet. This is the decal sheet from the Hot Wheels. This Hot Wheels uh, Club Kit uh, sign up, the box kit. When you get the Boss Haas in the box or in uh, mailed to you and you get the uh, magazine, you get this beautiful decal sheet and you also get the uh, the award thing that says you are now a member of the Hot Wheels Club. So there it is. And he was very proud that he had saved this all these years. And look how beautiful it is. It really is nearly perfect. How could this thing have survived for 48 years? Because it is from the 1970 model year. So let's set the case out here. Let's see, there's really nothing in this top tray. Oh, I take that back. There is a little something. There's a Tootsie Toy Boat. A Tootsie Toy Boat. And a decent matchbox, super fast. This one with opening doors. This is super fast. Are the cars that Matchbox made to try to compete with Hot Wheels, but they were wholly unsuccessful. Well, maybe not wholly. Partially and one hello one dirty little snow track look at you you dirty little snow track There you go. What's this? What's this? Oh, that's just a piece of cardboard. No, that's a piece of the tracks These old tracks they dry out, but there's a guy on eBay that sells replacements for those Hey, what's this a crew car sticker from the sticker sheet? Okay, set that aside and grab let's put this away over here put the Tootsie Toy boat out of the way and get out the trays. Now, I've arranged these. They actually were all open. I went ahead and wrapped them up to make the opening of the cars more dramatic. Let's dial down here slightly. There we go. I've got the light on because it is the winter time and it's a little gray around here in Portland. Mmm. Still drinking my coffee out of my Christmas cup. Oh, that's delicious. Ah, very good. All right, let's... I've actually ordered these. I've, I've arranged them by best to worst. Worst to best? Yeah, worst to best. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. But are they in order? Proper. Let's see. I can tell if I just touch this one here. I can tell. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I think I started over in this corner. So let's open this up, one up and see because it doesn't feel like it would be a bad car. And it, it's not. It is a rose sand crab. It is a rose sand crab with the uh, flower power decals on it. Hmm. I guess I didn't do a very good job of arranging these. Let's see now, what's in this one, huh? I know there's this one and this one. And there's 
really nice car yep that's definitely the last one I wanted to show and this is probably the first one I think I did this backwards let's go this way all right let's start with this one going from least to best and hmm well maybe not I don't know boy I'm really screwed up on this today look at that what do you think is that light too bright I'm gonna turn off the light and see if that's better let's try it all right now I've turned off the light got natural light only maybe if I move a little closer to the window because the natural light I think is a little better it was just a two it was lighting on my hands too much yeah, just one of those things you have to learn as you go along. Little purple Brabham Repco. Not bad, not bad. By the window, opening cars. Let's take a look at the next one up here. It is a, oh, look at that. It's a Brabham Repco, this one with the black base. Now, I've seen a lot of Lotus turbines with black bases. No, wait a minute. It's Indy Eagle I see mostly with black bases. Much fewer of the Brabham Repcos with the black bases. And look at this one. Nicely placed decals look at that that is a lovely car brabham repco let's put her down let's see I'll try to get these in order we're going to go right on the line here keep them in order and we've got the brabham now we got the indy eagle there very nice all right what's the next one up come on come on down it is oh look at that pink silhouette a pink silhouette look at that it's a u.s pink a few chips on it pretty nice looking though got good color Nice wheels, hmm, very nice wheels. Wow, look at those. Very cool, nice car overall. Good color, good wheels. What's next? It is a, oh, twin mill, antifreeze. Antifreeze twin mill, wow. Looking better all the time. Look at that, antifreeze and then the milky pink. Woo, that's some strange colors right there. You don't really think of those colors as much as you would other colors. Let's I'm gonna go back to this box over here and see if maybe I'm getting these out of order. Let's take a look. What do we got? Oh, yeah, you know, this might have been, look at that, charger, but look at it's faded. Look at that sad charger. Oh, my gosh, you know, and it didn't even get played with that much. It just somehow got left out, out in the rain, perhaps, and it faded. It's kind of dark on the one side, much more faded on the other side and spotty. Well, there it is, Dodge Charger. Well, at least it is a Dodge Charger, which is can always be painted to another color. I think I'm going to go back and forth because I can't decide which one of these trays I decided should have opened first. No, I think it's this one. Definitely think it's this one now. Okay, Pit Crew Car. This one's lovely. You know, it's funny. These cars are looking better today than they looked the other day. Hmm, maybe because they're mine. Ha <laughs> ha, they are mine, mine, all mine. Okay. All right, knock it off there, Professor. All right, look at this, Python. Python, this one with no US engine in it right at the moment, needs an engine. Other than that, it's pretty nice. Got a little wear on the front there. You always can have a little wear. Got beautiful wheels all the way around. It's always nice. And just needs a replacement engine and stuff like that. We'll put her here in the 69 Fantasy line. Well, 68 on that one. Possibly could be from 69. They made the silhouette for quite a while next one up is a green splitting image green splitting image This one with just a little spotting on the front Nice tires dull base if You like that sort of thing and decent tires all around a little spotting look at that spot spot spots Spit spot put that in the fantasy row go to the next car and what do we got? Lotus Turbine. It's a Lotus Turbine. Boy, ghoulie. And look at those wheels. Nice condition. All hubs all the way around. And look at this nicely placed decals. Those decals were put on there just right, I think. Just right. There we go. Got to watch that camera focus. And chrome base, not a black base on that one. Next one up. Now I bought three collections, four collections in the last three weeks. That's pretty cool. That's kind of a, that is a lot. Here is a light green Ferrari 312. This one, kind of a weird color, kind of faded. Looks like a Hong Kong color, but it is a US car. Uh, oops, look at that. Now that looks like that back, that back suspension's not so great on that side. Yeah, it's a, kind of a, on the loosey goosey side. Yeah, you know what? Look at this, watch this. Okay, I'll take the back wheels. 
Boop, 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 boop. What that means is that there's a little bar that goes across here, a plastic bar, it's rectangular, and these axles are, are glued in it, and when that thing has a problem, well then your suspension has a problem, so it's probably not gonna roll well, but it'll display fine, and it becomes a weird color shade, kind of a weird color shade. We'll put it over here in this aisle with the race cars in a weird color shade. And look at that, you know, let's put this on the other side so the light can get down to the cars. Get down, get down to the cars. Okay, now, the next car is a Jackrabbit Special. And this one is in good shape. A lot of times the Jackrabbit Specials are in horrible shape. This one's nice. Does have a weird little factory dealie right there. It's like a little, little pool of paint. <clears throat> That's a little extra pool of paint right there, but that doesn't affect it too badly. Let's put it over there with the other white car. Let's put her over there. Next one up, a police cruiser. I mean, a paddy wagon. And look at that. It's a nice paddy wagon. What's important about the paddy wagon is that your police letters are nicely gold. Nicely gilded in gold. And you're number three. Why has it got a three on it, by the way? Police three. Hmm. Why is it police three? I don't know. Look at that. Look at these red lines. They're missing a little of the red line. Which is not a line at all, is it? It's a circle. No, that's right. It is not a line. Next one up. Next one up is a Lola GT70. This one looks like it has chips on it, but it's just sticker residue sticker residue so otherwise the car is in beautiful shape and it's got nice wheels all around it now a lot of times a lola gt70 becomes a wheel donor to put the wheels on a better car that's more popular but this one the red lines are kind of goofed up look at that see now that's crooked so when it goes around it wobbles it's a weeble wheel weeble wheel all right we'll put that over here let's see what are the 69 i got the 70 over there Pretty cool so far, very cool. And next one up, a Ford Mark IV. Another Ford Mark IV. And is that a chip, is that a rub, or is that residue? Hmm, I think I'm the, some of that's residue. It might all be residue, but um, this car's not great shape. Needs to have the wheels straightened out and then run down the track. Run that baby down the track. Run it down, run it down. I don't know how that doesn't seem like I would have put that in that particular order. Maybe I'll trace her backwards. What? A second jackrabbit? Come on! It's bad enough that every collection comes with a jackrabbit, but a second jackrabbit? That's crazy. But you know, I tell you what, back in the day, we probably loved the jackrabbit. You know, like, oh, that's so cool. It's just like on TV. All right. Some sort of show. Another silhouette? Come on, that's crazy. It's definitely that was the end of the tray I was supposed to start on it was the tray with the worst cars this would be the worst car in the collection it's got a lot of nicks on it but look at those wheels those great wheels this definitely is going to become a wheel donor car gotta pop those wheels off put them on a good car I don't want to leave them on this guy he's okay but you know everybody's got that one come on you know that let's see all right, let's go over to the next tray here as we move through the collection. And what is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, it's a Diora. Diora with the original surfboards. Well, one of the things you'll find about the Diora is that the Hong Kong Dioras, the little holders that hold the surfboards in, typically both crack. They crack back there. Can you see that? I think one side is definitely cracked, as you can see the gaping spot, and the other side looks like maybe it's not cracked. The other thing that happens, the steering wheel falls out because the vinyl steering wheel and either shrinks or the other side grows and uh, then they just don't fit anymore and they fall out. I used to think it was because the surfboard went in there and pushed it out of place, but of course they don't go that far in there. So it's definitely not that. It's just plastic. Aged plastic is never meant to last for 50 years. 50 years, that's crazy. I don't even think people were meant to last that long. Next car up is a Chaparral, Chaparral 2G. Look at that, that's a nice one. Chaparral 2G, nice space. Look at that, kind of shiny, kind of dull, a little bit of beach. And a beautiful aqua color. Look at that. 
Chaparral. The Chaparral is one of my personal favorites. I only have, let's see, of the first five beers of Hot Wheels, I only have about 120 personal favorites. Here's the next car. Oh, it's a Beatnik Bandit. Beatnik Bandit in orange. I've seen a bunch of Beatnik Bandits in orange lately, and I really love them. But, you know, I've never found the perfect Beatnik Bandit in orange yet. There's always some flaw on the orange, whether it be spots or chips or rubs. This one's getting pretty good. Yeah, it looks real nice. Look at that. Orange Beatnik Bandit. Wow. Wow, that actually is nice. It's really nice. Next one up is... What? What? It's a McLaren. McLaren in rose. Rose McLaren. It's got some rubs on the back, but the color is great. Very deep and colorful with the original number four decals mostly there. Actually, stickers, not decals on this model. The back is a little darker and a little hazier than the front. But man, that front is gorgeous. That front, look at that color. Whew. Man, oh man, that color is amazing. That color is amazing. All right. That's about, we're about most of the way through here. So I'm going to cut this off, make this a two-parter. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come, when I come back, I'm going to make the second half in a different camera setting. And uh, be sure to leave me some feedback in the bottom and let me know what you think of the difference in the camera setting. I'm 30p on this one. I'm going to go 60p on the other one and see how it looks different. All right, thanks folks. See you on the next video. Bye now.